Hello everyone. Meeting you all after a long time. I hope all of you are fit and fine. Now once again we are here to start with our new academic session 2021-22. Now I am going to be your class teacher for this session. I am also going to take your English literature, moral science and spelling dictation class. I am sure all of you will enjoy the classes. Now children, let me remind you at first, you have already been told that you have to make two notebooks for each subject, write two exercise books for each subject. One you will write in the first week and then you have to submit it for correction. The following week, you have to write it another notebook, I mean the second one. In that week, you have to submit that notebook and take back the previous one. And in this way, it will continue. Okay, if you have any doubts, any queries, please feel free to ring me up. Okay, so today we have our moral science class. So we will, we will begin with the first lesson from our moral science book. Those who have the books with you, please turn to page number five. I think all of you know which is your moral science book, right? Bright Hearts, Bright Hearts 4, Value Education and Life Skills, Bright Hearts 4. This will be your moral science book and we are going to read the first lesson, the triple filter test. The triple filter test. See children, the first line, a healthy mind does not speak ill of others. A healthy mind does not speak ill of others. We do not know who has said these lines. But children see, it's very important for all of us that we should not speak ill of others. We should not say bad things about each other, right? We should always say good things about each other. We should not share bad things with others. Even if we hear from someone anything bad about someone or somebody, we should not share those things with others, okay? Because we do not know how much it is correct or wrong. Right, we do not know how much the person who is who is sharing the information with us is correct. How farther he or she is correct, we do not know. So that's the reason we are not going to share anything ill about others with anyone. Okay, please remember this. So let's read the lesson. Please follow as I read. Okay, hundreds of years ago in Greece, there lived a man called Socrates. He was known to be very wise. So there was a man in trees whose name was Socrates and he was very wise. One day, he was that means he was very clever. So one day a man came running to Socrates. One day what happened? A man came to Socrates to say something. See, let's read what did the man say to Socrates. He was excited and eager to say something. The man said, I want to tell you something interesting about your friend Diogenes. Now see, a man came to Socrates and that man is wanting to share something with Socrates about his friend Diogenes. But before the man could continue, Socrates held up his hand. Stop, stop, he said sternly. The man was taken aback. Very strictly what happened when the man wanted to say something to Socrates about his friend Diogenes. So Socrates very strictly said, stop. Now the man was confused. What happened? Why was Socrates stopping him from saying? 
Before you tell me any more, you must pass what I call the triple filter test. Now see, Socrates is saying that particular man that before I hear anything about Diogenes from you, I want you to pass a test. You have to pass a test called triple filter test. If you pass the test, then only I'm going to hear from you about my friend Diogenes. Otherwise not. A test. And what kind of test is that? The man looked bewildered. That means the man was confused. Now, the man was thinking that I have come to share something with you about your friend. You are not listening to it. Instead of that, you want me to pass a test. And if I pass a test, then only you will hear what I say about your friend. What's this? The man was very confused. Don't worry. It's a simple test. Now Socrates said the man that don't worry. It's a very simple test and you are going to pass it very easily. All you need to do is answer three simple questions. Each question lets you pass through a filter. Now all you have to do is, Socrates said to that man, that all you have to do is you have to answer me three simple questions. If you answer each question, then you will pass through a filter. And if you answer all the three questions, then only I'm going to hear from you about my friend. Fine, said the man, a little unsure. That means the man was uncertain. He was confused that will he be able to pass the triple filter test? Let's see what happened. The first filter is truth, said Socrates. Are you sure that what you are going to say is true? Are you absolutely certain? Now see, what is Socrates asking to that man? This is the first question which Socrates is asking that man. That what you are saying, what you will say, do you know that particular thing is true or not? The man shook his head. Actually, I don't know. I had just heard about it and I thought. Now that man is saying, that man is answering Socrates that I don't know it is true or not, but I have heard it. And I thought Socrates held up his hand again to stop him. You see, you do not know if it is true. Let's see if you can pass through the second filter. That is the filter of goodness. That means the first filter you haven't passed because you are saying that you are not sure that the thing which you will share with me is true or not. So let me see if you can pass the second one or not. The man gave Socrates a worried look. Socrates continued, Is what you want to say good or kind? Again the man is shook, shook his head. Er, uh, no, he hesitated. It's actually just the opposite. But if you could hear it, just hear it once. Now Socrates is asking the second question. What was the second question? Is what you want to say good or kind? What you are going to share with me, is it good or kind? But what did the man say? That it's the opposite. But still, he wanted Socrates to hear. Once again, Socrates asked the man to stop speaking. Now again, Socrates stopped the man and said, I don't want to hear anything from you. Please stop talking. Hmm. So you want to tell me something about Diogenes. That may be bad. That means you want to tell me something bad about my friend. And you are not sure if it is true. But you still want to say it. First of all, you don't know the thing which you are going to share with me is true or not. But still, still you want me to share. The man nodded a bit uncertain. He was not sure what he was saying. The third and the final filter still remains usefulness or necessity. Is this information useful to me or necessary for me? Now tell me one thing, Socrates said, that the thing, the information which you are going to share with me, is it necessary for me? Is it useful for me? The man looked ashamed as he shook his head. No, not really. Now the man said, no, it's not necessary or useful for you. 
well if you want to say it is neither true nor good nor kind nor useful nor necessary please don't say it to me or to anyone else said socrates as he walked away now socrates said that if you want to say something which is not good which is not kind which is not useful which is not necessary then please don't say it to me rather please don't share with anyone else this is not right if you only can say something true good kind useful necessary then only you share those information with others otherwise not see children it's a very nice story i hope you people have understood that always you have to always you need to speak good about others you should not speak ill of others okay it's not right because you do not know it is true or not right so until and unless you are not sure about it please don't share things with others information not things okay so see socrates was considered a wise man but he himself thought he had very little knowledge now see socrates was very wise he was very clever but he himself thought that he had very little knowledge he said that there was so much to know and he knew very little he had a habit of asking question now socrates has had sorry a habit of asking questions he questioned people and listened to them if he was not satisfied with answers he asked more questions this way he could arrive at truth he taught people to ask questions and search for the truth themselves rather than believe everything they were told see he always used to tell people that search for the truth rather than believe everything that are told you will hear many things from your friends others your relatives elders but first you have to know how much it's correct you have to know the truth until and unless you are not aware of the truth please don't believe it okay so what have we learned from the story that it is wise to think before you speak always think before you speak don't speak whatever you feel like it's not right first think and then say then speak out our kind unkind words can hurt others we should always be polite we should not use unkind words our unkind words can hurt others we should not hurt others okay one should say things that are true kind and useful we should always say what is true what is kind what is useful we should not say unnecessary things it's not right we must make everyone happy we should not hurt others okay so please learn the meanings four meanings are there okay taken aback hesitate arrive at bewildered please learn those meanings and in the next class i'm going to send you the question answers the fill in the blanks a and b page number 7 a and b exercises c you don't need to do it just put a cross okay c you don't need to do just put a cross next day i'm going to send the question answers and the fill in the blanks okay so that's all for today we are going to meet in the next class till then stay home stay safe and stay happy thank you